Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to Kona Day One, a brand new series. This is an early development build of this game. The game uh, releases, I believe, into closed beta today. Um, I'll link the website in the video description. But basically, this is kind of a an episodic mystery adventure. Uh, I almost want to say survival, but not really survival. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It. It Carl, kind of encompasses... like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. Uh, it kind of blurs the lines between a lot of different genres, and I've, I've played it a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot, not enough to kind of ruin anything for me, but it looks absolutely gorgeous, and the music is very atmospheric and perfect. Uh, basically, I am a private investigator... Uh, and the game is set in Quebec, which is part of Canada, for those of you who don't know. Set in the 1970s, which explains this very old truck. And I need to solve a mystery. I come across a town which is pretty Carl much had to abandoned. drive a bit further north in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. Also, as you can William tell... William Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses as well as metal mines in this northern region. As you can tell, there is also a narrator who talks and tells the story. Uh, and that is kind of how we're going to progress through the game. So when the narrator's talking, I am going to be quiet. Carl, always diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. All right, so we've got a map, we've got a journal... We need to grab the camera. The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, has seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away, even when removed from civilization. And then I think the last thing we need to grab is the flashlight. Hamilton flashlight. is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. All right, so we have everything. Now, this game has a lot of secrets to uncover and find. Um, for example, we can grab an empty bottle there. And up here, this is pretty much the extent of the game that I've actually played through, by the way. It was just this, per this first little part right here. I should warn you, it is a very short game. Um, this is probably only going to be a four or five episode series. But let's check out the flag. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to re-establish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur-de-lis could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. So, there we have it. You can get a lot of backstory and kind of lore, for lack of a better word, if you examine the environment. So let's hop in the truck and go on our way. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. So we're going to drive. The driving controls seem pretty good. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortune. And these ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. And we're kind of out in the country. Oh, and we're hitting snow. It's like Carl home all over again. was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow which didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping his first load of the year. I'm a professional snow driver. I was born and raised in Wisconsin. Hamilton this had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. All right, so... Uh, as we go along the road, the narrator is obviously telling us some stuff. Uh, we're going to be coming to a town relatively soon, I believe. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Given Learn to drive in snow. Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target. But soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Okay, we have... Spanning several hectares Welcome of virgin forest blanketed in eternal snow. The Manistan region, comprised mostly of bellowing caribous and inviolate lakes, wasn't exactly touristic. It was said that its lands had harbored the Cree people for thousands of years. But since the Industrial Revolution, it seemed that all they harbored were metal mines. Yeah, we are out in the boonies. Very few souls claimed the territory surrounding Lake Atamipec. It could barely be called a village, an enclave, or a settlement perhaps. Anything that illustrates middle of nowhereness bordering the backwoods of the Cree Kingdom. All right, looks like we're coming up on a town. There's a truck. Let's pull into here. Since 1941, the general store provided the populace with various goods that couldn't be plucked from nature itself. William Hamilton had recently taken over the place. In fact, the whole region was now his. All right, so we've got what appears to be a general store here. What's in here? Anything? A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay, so the milkman has been here. Is there anything else outside that we can take a peek at? What's this say? Fragile. Looks like we just got some downed wood. Uh, pi uh, plats or whatever they're called. Things over there. A couple of gas pumps. I suppose we should go ahead and head inside. Let's see. Whatever happened here, things got pretty rough. And not a trace of Hamilton. It is, uh... It's a little messy in here. Look at this. And you know, I've been through enough winter storms to tell you that this was not the winter storm. Whatever it was. Let's take a look. I got some music. I'm gonna turn that off. Let's take a look around. You got don't leave ammo. ammunition out in the open like this? Was Jules Lachelle's that careless? Got some ammunition. We've got a typewriter, a telephone. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. That's certainly possible. Snow knocked out the power. We've got some glasses. Canned goods. What appears to be Coca-Cola. Hmm. What's back here? More boxes. The mess. Oh, here we got... Something? Fire starters, maybe? Yeah, that's what it looks like. By all appearances, the general store also served as a post office. Letters and packages awaited the locals' daily visit. Let's check and see if any of these are unlocked. I don't think they will be. Hmm. Okay. Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. That does not look like any ice I've ever seen before. That's a little unsettling. Let's see what's behind the counter here. We've got drawers with sawdust in them, maybe? Dirt? Oh, duct tape. Can always use duct tape. Fixes anything. And a note. What's this say? Now, you can read it if you have trouble reading this stuff. Oh, also, I should mention... Um, this area of Canada in real life is very predominantly French, and I don't speak French, so all the text is written in French. Thankfully, they included a translation for us. So, to open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale, turn the crank two times, and if it doesn't work, hit the machine. Seems legit. All right, let's give this a try. So let's say 
11. 22. Sail. Okay. There's something. Um, okay, so we've got a name, address, and then a balance. Is what it... Uh, I mean, I think that's the pro the pronunciation. Nom would be name, adresse would be address, and credit is however much they owe or don't. Okay. Anything else over here? What's this? Gilles Lachance, Carl recollected, was the general store's manager. Should Hamilton not be available, he was the man to talk to. Okay. Or what if Hamilton had moved up his appointment with his physician? Oh, also, I'm here to meet with a client. I'm supposed to meet him at this general store. He's not here. So, let's see. And we've got... Okay, pump one turns on. Pump two does not. We've got a ladder that we can move, apparently. Okay. Uh, what appears to be a first aid kit. Anything else cool over here? Can I... Climb? No. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing... Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh! Finding a key. a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. Okay, so we found a key to something. And then we've got... Nails and screws and things like that. Rice Crunchies, not to be confused with Rice Krispies. And Apple Jocks, not to be confused with Apple Jacks. That's kind of funny, actually. All right. And then... Wolves? Let's just shut that. Yep. Shut. Shut. Nope. That's kind of scary. What's this say? The note explained that both the garage and the store shouldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. This one's the garage. This one's the store. So let's turn that off. Let's turn that one on. Uh, we'll run? Yeah? Okay? Okay. There's more of this strange ice all over the place. There's like a wagon or something over here. Oh, you can see the footprints that I leave. Oh, that's cool. That's a really nice level of detail. There's a... Okay. Can we follow those tracks? I don't think we should go running out that way just yet. Let's just hold off on that for the time being. Okay, so I shut off the power to that, and I turned on the Carl power to this. proudly remembered an essential fact of his Survival 101 class in the Army. Wolves won't approach crowded areas. Or was it about bears? Okay, so apparently I served in the Army at one point. Let it be known you're nothing more than a brigand, a robber, a, grod, a garbage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife to my throat. Too bad for me, but... The end. Hmm... Okay. Well, this is the garage. I suppose we should go inside and see what's in here. Anything over this way? Not that I can tell. Alright, we've got the key. Oh, that light doesn't turn on. Looks like... Okay. So, I believe... My hot key for my flashlight. There we go. So I've got some stuff. I feel like this light should turn on. Did I not, like, turn on the power in the building properly or something? Let's check out what's over here. Open. Oh. Okay, maybe like that. Maybe the, the garage runs off something else. I turned off the power in the other building. Or maybe, actually, you know what? I bet I know what it was. 
What you want to bet? Let's turn that back to mains. What you want to bet? I've got these both. Yeah, I turned off the power. Okay. So the power in the garage was already off. So now the light is on in the garage. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Let's head into the garage and see what we can find out. Also kind of a mess. Got a nice little car. Crowbar is stuck. Okay. Nothing in that. It sounded like an explosion had occurred in front of the store. Well. Oh. I have a feeling that that power line is not supposed to be dangling like that. I mean, I'm no, I'm no electrician or expert, but just thinking that that's not supposed to be just hanging there. Okay, well, let's go back inside and it said there was one for generator, right? Mains, gen, I'm assuming yeah, Carl was this no generator here. But he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Okay. So I need to fix this. Can I fix it? I've got duct tape. And then I need something else. I'm assuming it's not ammo, a fire starter, Polaroid film, matches, or an empty bottle. So let's head into the garage. Maybe I can find what I'm looking for in there. Whatever it is that I'm looking for. Let's see... Um, nails, a needle nose pliers, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Anything else? Um, doesn't appear to be. There's a button. What's the button? Do Looking at the controls wouldn't make the lift budge. The poor thing needed electricity to work. Okay, so that controls a, the lift underneath the car is what it looks like. Let's see if we can fix this generator. Maybe the needle nose pliers or the nails were what we need? I, I can't imagine it was the nails, but maybe the needle nose pliers. Yeah, there we go. So pliers and duct tape. And there we go. That lights it up. Garage light is back on. Let's just see if I press that button now to lift the car, will it go up? There we go. A crowbar. Useful tool to pull out nails or to carry just in case. Getting some half-life memories here. <laughs> so we got a crowbar. Is it good for anything? Can I do anything with either of the gas pumps doesn't appear like it all right well I think I think we've done everything we can right here I think it's probably best we just go ahead and jump in our truck and move on into town but I think I am pretty much out of time for this episode guys so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.